welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. Hope you've had a great day today so far, and I have, and I just wanna show you one recipe that's gonna be in volume two. So if you um, have already pre-ordered your volume two, it should be shipping out very soon. If you haven't already ordered volume two, go to my website, mamasuesouthernkitchen.com, and there's a place that says cookbook and you can order volume two. And if you haven't gotten volume one, you need it also. But this is a recipe that my sister-in-law used to make for her son all the time. Kevin would always want for his birthday, instead of a cake, he would want a cherry old cream cheese pie. And haven't made one in a long time, and I started thinking about it, and um, knew that it was in my recipe book, and I thought, I'm gonna make it. And do you know, um, this is a very simple recipe that calls for eight ounces of cream cheese, and you know, I've left it out on my counter for a couple of hours just to soften. It also calls for one can, it's 14 ounce can of condensed milk. I love condensed milk, just about anything that has it in, it has to be delicious. Get all of that goodness out. Okay. A fourth of a cup of lemon juice. I've got it measured out. and one to two teaspoons of vanilla. So, here's one. You know, more has to be better. Okay, now, all we're gonna do is take our hand mixer and mix this up. in this pre-made graham cracker crust. And my recipe will tell you to let this chill in the refrigerator for two to three hours. And then I'll take it out, I'll come back, take it out, and I'll put a can of cherry pie filling on. Now, I know because some of you have already told me that you don't like cherries. You can put blueberries, you can put strawberries, or whatever, but mine's called a cherry pie. So anyway, I'll be back in two hours and finish the pie. Okay, the pie has been in the refrigerator chilling for two hours. The recipe says two to three hours. 
Well, I'm ready for it right now. So I'm just believing that it has chilled enough. So this is what it looks like. Here's my can of cherry pie filling, 21 ounces. And like I said, if you want to put blueberry or strawberry, you can. But I like cherry. All right. It sure does look pretty. In case you don't know, and I really didn't know, Angela, my person who is keeping Mama Sue's Southern Kitchen going, told me that today is Pie Day. My husband, Harold, taught math for many years, and he tried to explain to me what Pi meant in math, P-I. And I'll tell you what I got out of it. 314. And today is 314. So any excuse to have a pie. So we're going to cut this, and I'm going to hope that I let it chill enough. If I didn't, I'll put it right back in the refrigerator, but this is just for us. And I need a spatula now. Um, try this. Like I said, I was a little hasty in finishing it, but, mm, yep, I was too fast, but that's okay. We're going to eat it, and then I'm gonna put this back in the refrigerator, and it will be a pretty piece. It tastes just like it's supposed to. So, mm. leave it three hours in the refrigerator before you cut it. You know, it is what it is. It wasn't firm enough, but it is delicious. And when I put it back in the refrigerator for another hour, the slice will be just as pretty as it can be. It's delicious. Y'all, thank you for following me. This recipe is in volume two of Mama Sue's cookbook, which should be here by the end of the week. And I'm so excited about that. But I'm more excited to know that you love Jesus like I do. Just be salt and light wherever you go and let others see that something's different about you, that you got a light about you, that they're going to wonder why in the world she's so happy and, you know, everything when things are not good in the world. And you can help tell them it's because you have Jesus. I'll be back soon.